if you fly DJI 03 on a quad, it is inevitable at some point you're going to end up breaking a camera. Now there are a number of options available with regards to how to fix this. You can buy yourself a new camera from DJI and swap it over, or you can buy one of the many much cheaper lens modules that are available on the market that will allow you to repair your existing camera. Today I'm going to walk you through that process. Now in this video I am also going to explain everything that you need to do to swap a camera over on 03 as well as talk about the differences between the options because there are a few things that you do need to be aware of. Anyway let's get on with it and let's take a look at what options are available to you first of all. Okay, so if your O3 camera is looking like this, you've probably had a bad day or a good day, depending on which way you look at it. The reality is though, you're going to need to change the camera. Now, there is an official way of doing this. DJI do sell these camera modules on their own. They're available for about 90 pounds in the UK or they're about $109. That is the whole camera module that you see here. And that is an official replacement available directly from DJI. DJI or its official dealers. That will work exactly the same as the original camera did with your O3e unit. The only thing you would need to do though is calibrate that new camera before you use it. Now there is a calibration process for doing this. I'm not going to talk about that in this video. I do have a dedicated video on the DJI O3 camera calibration. There will be a link to that in the description and I'll put a card up on screen at this point in the video as well. So what you would need to simply do if that was the case is simply take the camera apart, replace the module and then perform the camera calibration and you'll be able to carry on as if nothing happened. However, if $109 is too much, don't worry, there is a cheaper option and that is this, this little camera module. Now, this is available from the likes of AliExpress and you can even get it from Flywoo as well. Price-wise, I've seen it for under $30 from both places and it is a much cheaper option compared to replacing the whole camera. There is also a larger camera module available from Flywoo as well, but it is this option that most people tend to go for coming in at under $30. The nice thing about this is rather than replacing the whole camera module, you can simply replace this module. Now, it is worth me mentioning at this point that whilst this is a replacement module, not everything is equal. We do believe this is actually an official DJI camera, but there is one downside to using this module, and that is where, as I said earlier, you need to calibrate the original DJI camera, these cameras generally won't calibrate. Now, what you will find if you try to use one of these camera modules is that it will work absolutely fine but you will get the calibration error message in the bottom right hand corner this doesn't actually seem to affect the use of the camera at all gyroflow still works all of the recording mode still works but you will have that permanent calibration error message in the bottom right corner now there is nothing you can do on these modules to stop it but there is one third option and that is to buy this module and replace just the lens rather than replace the whole camera unit. Whilst this does come with the sensor and everything, the bit you actually need is the lens module itself and that can actually be replaced. Now many people believe this couldn't be replaced but it is simply glued in around the sides on this and what I'm going to do next in this video is walk you through the process of tearing this camera down and then actually replacing this lens module on this camera. Okay so the first task is to tear this camera down. Now there are two screws, one on each side to take apart. Nice and easy, we simply unscrew them and place them to one side. We are going to need these later to put back in, so do make sure that you don't lose them. You may find that they don't easily want to come out because they are what actually holds the cam shell on the back of the camera. Then, once they are undone, you can then gently pull forward and you will release the front and back sections from the camera. You can't pull it off completely because there is the cable that is inside that goes between the back of the camera housing here and the board. The cable is actually pressed in place into this back housing. If you did ever want to replace that cable, this is the process you would follow as well. And then what you can simply do is carefully 
disconnect it from the back of the board. There's two ways of doing this. You can gently give a tug on the connector like that, or you might want to get in there with a pair of tweezers and pull it off. Now, it is worth me stating that when you take this apart, you'll probably find this heat compound in there. My one doesn't because I actually tore this down before doing this here today and removed it. You will find that there is thermal compound on the back there. You do want to keep that for your camera to make sure that it is actually able to remove the heat into that back section. You can see there that there is like a part of the rear housing that pushes up against it. Now, as I've said, this is the point if you were wanting to just swap the camera out and buy the DJI one, you would simply get the DJI one, change the module over, plug the module in and then move on to the calibration. As I said, there is a link to that calibration video in the description. Today though, what we're going to do is take this camera module out. Now the next thing we're going to need to do is remove the four screws that hold it in place. You've got one, two, three and four down here that hold the main camera module to the housing. These are small Phillips screws, so you'll simply need to undo these. These are quite small, so do be careful. And once you've undone all four, I've already removed the bottom two at this point, you then should be able to withdraw this whole lens module out of this front piece. You may need to just give it a push like that. And then you end up left with this same module like I showed you earlier, like this one here. Now, as I've said already, at this point, you could just choose, you know what, I'm going to use this one, the one I bought, and I'm simply then going to refit that into the housing and then refit that into the camera, basically doing the reverse of what I've already done and live with the fact that it won't calibrate. However, what we're going to do is swap over the lenses. The lens is actually replaceable. It does screw in to this bottom part. If I look around, you can see that there's a gap all the way around there. What we'll do is we'll zoom in a bit closer. So there, if I rotate the lens, you can actually see that it does screw into that base. And there's some adhesive located there that they've put on that actually holds the thread in place to ensure that the lens doesn't unscrew accidentally. So if I try and twist it, it is absolutely solid, but it is actually unscrewable. Now, there's going to be a few ways to loosen that adhesive. So we've got some that side there, and if we just roam around... We'll also see that there's some on that side there. Okay, so we're going to try with some tweezers of mine first of all, just to see how hard this is. Now, actually, looking at that, it is not very hard at all. It is pickable. Sorry, we just had a print finish on the Bamboo A1. It is actually pickable which means we should be able to release this and hopefully unscrew the lens so what i'm going to do is just pick as much of the adhesive as i can I've done that side let's now move over to this side here. Again, process is exactly the same, getting in there with the tweezers and just trying to get a, a dig into that adhesive. And that way then we can start to loosen it up and hopefully if we get enough of it free, we could start to try and unscrew the lens. Okay, so after that picking, I tried giving it a turn and it really was as easy as that. Once I picked it, we are able to unscrew the lens and then release it from the camera.
So next, it's simply a task of doing the same thing on the new one and then swapping that lens onto my existing camera module. Now, once you've got the new lens on, the next thing you're gonna need to do is the focusing. Now that is gonna take a little bit of playing because you're gonna need to get this set up and adjust the lens manually until you get it to the point where you're happy with the focus. My advice would be to focus on something 20, 30 meters out that should give you the best overall results and then what you're going to want to do is actually glue this lens in place whether you want to use a little bit of hot glue in there or as little bit of super glue is up to you i personally wouldn't recommend super glue i would use something like a little bit of hot glue on a cocktail stick or something like that just to get it in around that area to fix that lens in place now just something to note whilst reassembling this camera there are some pegs or notches that that stick out on this camera that do need to align with this front plate it will only actually go on one way so do make sure you have it the right way around otherwise you will find that the screws won't actually fit now my final note on reassembly is with regard to this thermal compound now if you've been able to recover what was on it already simply reapply i actually haven't i have some of the original dji blue stuff here because i have a bit of a tub that i've built up from all of the strip downs of air units so I'm going to apply that on this one however if you don't have any I would suggest using some normal thermal compound arctic 5 any of the usual stuff for pc should be absolutely fine you don't want to horse it in you just want to put some around that copper plated area there and make sure that it meets that piece on the back Overall, the process is fairly straightforward. All you're really going to need to do if you do change the lens is refocus it and glue it to stop it moving. Now, as I mentioned earlier in this video, if you were to buy one of those third-party lens module units, these are the ones sold by Flywo or on AliExpress, they are going to permanently show this calibration error message. Today, we don't fully understand what the reason for this is, but something we have noticed is that these cameras either don't have a serial number or they they have a serial number that doesn't match the usual serial number on the cameras. There was some initial thoughts that these might be lenses modules specifically from the Avata. However, some things on this don't add up. The reality is today, all we know is if you are buying these third party ones, generally they won't calibrate. And what you're going to have to do is either live with that error or change the lens over itself. If you were, though, to buy the official one from DJI, don't worry, you can do the calibration process. And as I said earlier, there is a process for that in the description. I made a video on it a few months ago. Now, I really do hope you have found this video useful. If you have, please do make sure you are subscribed to the channel. If you'd like to support us to allow us to keep making content like this in the future, please do check out the links to Patreon as well as buy me a coffee in the description. I want to say a massive thank you to all of my patrons. I would not be able to keep making content on this channel without their support. And if you'd like to support us to allow us to keep making content in the future, please do consider checking it out. Anyway, that's it from me on this one. Stay safe. I will speak to you soon.